Hey there! Today we're going to have a look at what I think is a rather special pen. Because this is a pen... Give me one second... that is enjoyable on both ends. And it is appropriately numbered for 69 for that very reason, I'm assuming. This is the Pen BBS 469. I do apologize for that terribly poor taste joke, but I, I couldn't help myself. Pen BBS 469, two nibs, kind of cool, two different inks, etc. Uh, a very kind thank you to Gold Spot Pens because I talked to them about this pen because I received a lot of review requests and they very. Uh, kindly sent me one. So that is really, really nice of them. Thank you very much. This kind of stuff I like to point out because it's very important, because it is for these kinds of reasons that I can keep doing these types of videos, and that's that's nice for everyone, right? So, without further ado, I'm going to cover the path of this pen. I will do a writing sample, and I will tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Let's get started. Okay, so the Pen BBS 469 cardboard box, little sleeve. And you have the actual box. Now, in this box, I already took the pen out, there actually were a few more goodies. So, let me show you the pen and then let me show you the rest that was in that box. I will zoom in a bit for your viewing pleasure. And here we have the pen. So, you can see that right next to Elami Safari. It's a little bit longer, but of course it uh, it, 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 it has uh, nibs on either end, right? So, um, that was not smart. You see that quite a bit of that, that space is actually in the cap, although these caps are rather nice and don't waste a whole lot of space. So that's not bad at all. Now, what else was in the box? I want to tell you that now before I forget. You get this, which is actually not bad at all. Uh, as, you, as you can see, I haven't... I'll just put that out of the way because it rolls. Uh, I haven't unpacked this, because, but I have used this before. This is a Pen BBS Rollball tip, which I've actually found to be very nice and quite smooth. That's really quite nice. So you can switch out, you get one of these, two fountain pen nibs. So you can unscrew the nib unit of that pen, and then you can install the uh, Pen BBS rollerball tip. So you have one nib, fountain pen, and on the other end you have a rollerball. So that's quite nice. And also you get this uh, simple eyedropper. Simple, but it, it, an eyedropper is an eyedropper, right? It works. I haven't used that because I used another eyedropper. Now, before we actually get started, there is one thing I want to point out. And I want to do that now before I show you the parts, because right now this is a, a, a current affair, so to speak. The issue with this type of design is that if you put it in a standard pen case or a pen pouch or whatever and you carry this up, typically you carry a fountain pen nib up. But of course, in a design like this, there is always one end that will be carried nib down, right? And that's a bit of an issue. Why is this an issue? Because you get leakage and... Um, There is a little bit of a leak. I was hoping that would not be the case, but it is. This is red ink, and I'll also just roll this up and show you what's on the inside of the cap. Now, of course, you can always get a little bit of ink inside of the cap when a, when a pen moves around, but I have been trying this for a number of days now, carrying this pen just to see what would happen, and at some point I actually had so much ink that there was actually a little pool of ink in the cap, and when I turned it over it actually just fell out. So that is something with this particular design to be aware of. I think I was carrying it with that red, I had red ink in one side. Yeah, I was carrying it with that side down. You see there's a lot less green ink on the other side. But this is a bit of an issue. So I will come back to that in likes and dislikes. I just wanted to show it to you now. And I think I've done so adequately, so let's cover the parts of the pen. Well, there's a lot to say, actually, about this pen, because it has some, some pretty cool features. So, first of all, what I, what I really like is that you get that rollerball tip with it, right? That's kind of cute. You get the eyedropper with it, which is very useful. It means you can use this up, because you can only use this as an eyedropper. You cannot put in cartridges. You can't do anything, right? You need to have that. 
And you can get four finishes. This is the kryptonite finish, but there are other finishes available as well. And uh, just in case you're interested, the price is $43.95, which for a Chinese pen is not super cheap, but on the other hand, you're basically buying two pens, right? So I just had to take a sip there. Okay, so let's look at the parts of the pen. Well, the caps are identical. I'm, I'm moving them a little slowly because I don't want to get too much ink spillage again. Uh, the cap is a solid piece, so there is no separate finial or anything, and the two caps are, as far as I can tell, completely identical, so you can put them on either side. And you have this barrel, which of course has a separator down the middle, right, so you have two compartments for ink. In a way, I think it would also be kind of interesting to have a single, like a, a barrel that is that can just have one ink, so one chamber, but of course the problem is how would you fill it, because it would be open on both ends, so you have access, uh, the nibs will have access to the ink reservoir, uh, and you cannot close off one end. So if you would hold it up, you would eye drop it, the ink would just fall out. So the idea was interesting, but I don't think that's technologically feasible. Okay, two chambers. In this case I put in Mont Blanc Corn Poppy Red, Mont Blanc Irish Green, because I thought a red and a green would be a nice contrast. Green for the caps, a dark green, and then a red. Now let's look at these, the actual pen part. So you have an hourglass shaped section, uh, which is very simple, but is, to be honest, rather comfortable. And especially because this pen pretty much automatically posts, right? Because there already is a cap there. You cannot double post it or anything. That's just strange and not very secure. But I think this is actually a very nice size. It's not that small. Uh, so that's that's quite nice. It's also comfortable. This this hourglass shape, a very classic uh, pen section shape, I think works very well. Now what you notice is that on one end you have this nib. It's a steel nib. They only come in fine. You don't have any choice. It says Pen BBS. I just need to get it close to my face. Since 2005, uh, and it does say F for fine and China. Okay, now the fun thing is, on one end, and I think this is the case with all of these pens, on one end you get this monotone nib, which is this sort of chrome color, but then on the other end you get something that in my mind is very reminiscent of a sailor nib in looks, uh, which is a, a duotone. So you get a, a, a sort of chrome color as well as a little bit of gold and it says the exact same thing on the nib, so I don't know how well you can see that, but there are two separate nibs, which is kind of cool. I'll, I'll try to take a good picture for the, on this for the website. Beyond that, section is the same, same material as the cap. Uh, it's equally comfortable because the exact same section. And of course you have the two ink chambers here uh, with, in this case, the red and the green ink. I have not written extensively with this, um, uh, or uh, let me rephrase it, I have not written an exceptional amount with this, and yet you see there's quite a bit of ink gone. So, to be fair, most of the ink that's gone here has leaked out. It's not from my writing. So that is something to be aware of. Um, but again, I'll come back to that. Finally, uh, there is no clip, and that's always a little dangerous because once this starts to roll, it will roll off your desk. And if you have something that's not entirely uh, level, as is the case here, uh, that, that may be an issue. But again, another thing I will come back to. Let's do some writing. Now, I'm not going to write with the rollerball tip. I have a separate video, uh, a shootout, where I talk about fountain pens that, sorry, about rollerballs that take fountain pen ink. And one of those in there is the Pen BBS, a Pen BBS pen with the Pen BBS rollerball tip. So I, to make this video not too long, I haven't done that. If you want to see that type of tip in action, uh, then you can check out that video. So, the Pen BBS 469, and the finish is Kryptonite. Uh, it's a fine nib. This is the monotone. The ink is Mont Blanc Irish Green, which is usually a bit darker. These are not the wettest of nibs, so in both inks you don't get the most saturated uh, of writing experiences. Nib is okay. It's not the smoothest nib I have ever used, but 
as you can see, does right. This is nice and smooth paper. On paper with a bit more texture, I found these nibs to be a little scratchier. A bit of fast writing. You can see that it's pretty consistent. There's a little bit of skipping here and there, but it's a pretty consistent writing experience. Now, let's do this. And the Irish Green is actually a fairly wet ink, but you can see it's very dry in this. So it's it's really a rather dry writing experience. Um, I'm not sure if I pointed it out, but plastic fees. As you kind of would expect at this price. But. Okay, so as always, very careful line variation. Uh, there is a little bit you can squeeze out. Now, I don't necessarily want to go through all the motions with the other nib because it is a very, very similar nib that writes very similarly. But here you have the Mont Blanc Corn Poppy. This nib, in my mind, is actually a little more feedbacky than the other one. You can hear it too, I think. And also quite dry. And I found this one skippier than the other because of the dryness. So, to be fair, I would switch out this one for the rollerball tip and keep this one in fountain pen mode, to be honest. But so there you have it. So, the writing experience on the two nibs is not exactly the same, uh, but of course the pen feels exactly the same way, whether I hold it this way or that way, I should not have done that. One lives and learns. So, it's just that this nib is, is definitely, yeah, it's, there's, there's more feedback, even on very smooth paper. So, let's talk a little bit more about what I like and what I don't like about this pen. Okay, what do I like, what do I not like about the Pen BBS 469? I think there's a lot to like about this pen. I also think there are a few things that I don't like so much. But let's start with what I like. The concept is not new. There have been double-ended pens for a long time and for a long, long period in time, companies have tried to overcome the limitation of people only being able to use a single ink at a time. Look it up. You will find that there have been many companies throughout the ages that have tried to come up with more or less convoluted designs to try and offer the end user the ability to use multiple inks. Uh, and even something like, the, say, the Edison Pen Company in a more modern uh, incarnation has made double-ended pens. So it's not a new concept, but what I do really like is that Pen BBS is doing it because that makes these pens available to the public, especially at this price, less than $45. Gold Spot sells them for $43.95. I don't think that is a particularly bad price. That makes it relatively affordable. Think of a Lamy Safari, which is what, $25, $30 now? $43.95, and you're basically buying two pens, right? Because you get two ends and you get that rollerball mode supplied for one of the two ends. So I think that is really nice. The the opportunity that you have with this, uh, it, uh, that is very nice. I also like that they made one nib monotone and one duotone, so you can sort of pick which look you like best and then maybe replace the other one with the rollerball tip or whatever. That's quite nice. I also like the eyedropper capacity because it is a, quite a nice amount of ink, not multiple milliliters. It's a relatively small chamber, but still it holds a good amount of ink, which I think is really, really nice. It's also, and that is very important, comfortable to use. I really find this a pleasant pen in size, in shape, it's pleasant to hold, it's pleasant to use. And that, I think, is very, very nice. What do I not like so much about it? Well, my biggest issue is the ink leakage. A fountain pen is a controlled leak. That's how it works. But that becomes a problem when you have to carry in a pen around, nib down. If this is a type of pen that you can leave in a horizontal orientation, for example, 
at a home office or at work or wherever you use it, this would not be an issue. But if you are, for example, a student or someone who's on the road a lot, the concept is neat. You can use two different inks for your notes, but if every time you open up the pen, you'll find some ink has leaked out, that becomes an issue. Now, it's relatively simple. You can carry a tissue, you can quickly wipe it down, but that's an extra step. And every additional step can sort of create annoyance in people. So I think it's something to be aware of. That is something you can expect. And I have tried this, or I have tested this quite extensively, both nibs facing down, and I found a leakage in both nibs. So I think we can say this is a pretty consistent issue with pens of this model. Now, if you have this pen, you have or have not experienced this, I'd be very grateful if you could leave a comment so that other people can see if others have this as well. Because of course, the issue is always, I have one of these pens, and maybe I just had the one that happens to leak a bit. I don't think, for the record, this is a matter of put more silicone grease in, that's not where it leaks. It's not coming out of the section, it's really just slowly dripping out of the nib and feed. And I think that is unavoidable. I don't. I cannot come up with any hacks that would stop that except for carrying the pen horizontally, but that may not always be an option. The nibs are not the smoothest writers in the world, they are not the wettest writers in the world, so if you are comfortable tuning nibs, you may want to spend a little bit of time on this. That could also be this specific model, because in the same batch from Goldspot pens, I also got this, the Pen BBS 323, and this has a much smoother nib. So that, that may just be a matter of, yeah, there is a little bit of quality control inconsistency, and I just happened to get one that didn't have the two smoothest nibs in the world. I've used other Pen BBS pens that were smoother, so I'm, I'm completely willing to say, okay, that may be an issue with this model. Of course, a little bit of micro mash or whatever, you can smooth it out yourself. You can do that. And there are videos online on how to do that, etc. The final thing I wanted to point out is I really like the concept of storing the pen horizontally. The only problem is it has no clip, it has no roll stopper, so it shall roll and it will roll off your desk. Now, that's a bit of an issue. Of course, there are pen stands that will sort of prop up your pen uh, and then you don't have to worry about that. But it has rolled off uh, my desk a number of times now. So this is an issue uh, and that's another thing to, to, to be aware of, especially in a pen that kind of wants to be stored horizontally and this becomes a bit of an issue. On the other hand, with the clip, of course, on what side do you put the clip? Do you put clips on both sides? Will it look weird? Etc. So I completely understand the decision. It's just something to be aware of. And if you're aware of it, it's not really a big deal. And that's all there is to it. I hope this was a helpful overview to make you decide if you uh, want to swing both ways with this pen, then by all means you should, because it is a fun pen. Good amount of ink. I mean, it has a lot going for it. Just be aware of some of the limitations. A very kind thank you to Goldspot. I really appreciate the pen as well as the other one that will also be reviewed, of course, because that allows me to keep doing what I'm doing. Big thank you. I hope this was useful, and um, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.